What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Solo Leveling Arise video. It's your boy Payne. Happy, happy, happy Saturday, guys. It is family day for me, so I'm going to be able to do a video real quick before I go back to my kids who are currently napping uh, and play daddy mode for the rest of the day. But I do want to talk about a couple things. First off, make sure you have used the three codes from this morning's video. If you have not, go check out the last video. The codes are there in the description. You guys can get yourself a free multi, 2,000 essence stones, plus a plethora of other rewards, which can even net you guys 50 custom or limited time tickets which is the ultimate prize from those lucky full moon boxes if you have also not done so i don't know why you haven't done this already uh go and support your boy on the content creator support program click that support button enjoy me being second place currently uh we are more than more than excited to be about four thousand, and we're going to be heading to five thousand very soon uh first off i want to give a quick shout out to all my top users uh and supporters so painblaze mom professor uh tech professor tech travis nid nid slam nid 9488535 uh clicks forsaken Irwin. Step Bear, T Pro, the rest of you NIDs, Cephas, who just came up on this, a couple more NIDs. I'll go through a few pages here. Meow2x, McNasty David, Misos, uh, King Gust, all you other NIDs who should please, please, please change your name so I can give you a proper shout out. Uh, and then also the other NIDs, Bon here, Mega Cartel, uh, Dark, Blazer44, uh, Turkatron, and then we have ourselves Game Jester Jeff. I'll go to all the way page five because a lot of you guys have been requesting to give more shout outs, so I will. Uh, Driggs Ravage, uh, Demos007, the rest of you NIDs here, if you see yourself there, give yourself a pat on the back. Kura, IBQK, Q, uh, Q Minty, Jaden38, uh, a couple more NIDs, the Darkstra or Dark. Daraska, the Daraska, damn, that's a crazy name. Um, page five, we got ourselves here, a couple more NIDs, Door. Love myself a good door. Uh, a couple more NIDs. Deep, shout out to my boy Deeps. Eugen, Panic, uh, Ben D. Beckman. Uh, we got a couple more NIDs here down the board. And for the rest of you guys who are not on the list. Now, if you are looking to be further up in the list, by the way, guys, the way you grow in rank points is by spending money in the game. If you support me, you'll go up in rank, guarantees you a code when they come out. I have plenty of codes, by the way, left. So make sure, guys, you are, in fact, supporting and i will definitely guys get you a code as soon as possible i try to do them once a day so everyone who's brand new will receive them all right guys sorry for that lengthy 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 talk now let's talk a little bit about the video itself first off um it's been two minutes god i feel like zaf uh so first off we're gonna talk about the most important part of the encores and instances this week and that is how easy it is to collect yourself some proof of the strong so currently right now proof of the strong has our easiest boss which is a giant arachnid especially if you are sporting a pretty good um light team this will you'll make mincemeat out of this and then secondly we also have the instance one which is out as well and that's going to be car our favorite uh, shaman cargalagagag again as well as igris that's right both of these guys are not that hard to beat with proof of the strong if you have the proper weapons now i personally was lucky enough today to pull a weapon banner and finally complete my next a5 weapon which was my plum sword so now i've got the ms and the plum sword at a5 currently going to be working on the grimoire and pushing for the phoenix bow after that so i'm going to be pushing this to a10 as well too and now i'm going to talk a little bit about something while i do this this fight um and that is a topic that a lot of free-to-play players have been asking me to kind of touch upon and that is if it's worthwhile to push free-to-play content in terms of um weapons and units to a10 or do you start with something that's a5 and this is primarily around the topic of the plum sword and the MS daggers, okay, and the Grimoire. Those are the, the three main weapons, of course, that we're talking about, okay? So once you've got the, those A5, what do you do? Do you continue going to A10, or do you stop and push the other weapons to A5? So here's my take on this whole scenario, and I think I think this is a very logical take, uh, because you're gonna need to understand how important this plays, what I'm about to say plays into the game itself, right? It's ideal that you push your three main weapons to a10 in my opinion and just along the way get yourself some luck and lose some 50 50s and get yourself some weapons uh that aren't on your list all right and the reason why i say this and the reason why i think this is important is because those weapons the plum sword the ms daggers and the grimoire are going to be your primary weapons pretty much throughout the game i don't really care how how much you you know you want the other weapons they're not going to be replacing those three in my opinion i think those three weapons are primarily going to be the main three weapons we have for quite some time now that's of course not talking about the uh the brand new weapon that's coming out the demon daggers right the demon king daggers that might be another big weapon that we have along the way plus we're, we're not including the new buffed up version of the um demon longsword that might may also play a fairly big role in the uh, upcoming weapon banners that you might want to choose from now with those unknowns now we do know what obviously the new 
uh, Demon Longsword is going to look like and what it does, but the only problem is with that, we don't know its potency yet without testing. I refuse to look at a kit and, and base it off of that because I feel like kits are never really truly there and they also come, come with a lot of bugs and mistakes. So the last thing I want to do is be like, yeah, guys, this weapon is really good on paper, uh, but, you know, sucks obviously on, t on, on when you start doing the testing. So I'm going to 100% be doing some testing with that weapon when it comes out. And I'll, I'll give you guys the full results of that testing. So I'll be able to give you a full, full review of the Demon Longsword. But right now, my ideology and what I'm going to do is combat power matters too much. Okay? Combat power matters way, way too much. So for me personally, as a, as a free-to-play player, I'm going to be pushing everything I can to A10 that's important to me and that I primarily use over anything else, right? And I think that's a, an intelligent way to go because that's also going to allow you as a, as a player, uh, as a free-to-play player or Dolphin, uh, to push your combat power further and then be able to do content that you normally would not be able to do. So keep that in mind when you are planning to go around this. Uh, and if you are planning to, to, you know, get yourself an A10 weapon, I think it's an intelligent and smart move on your part. And I think you will benefit in the long run a lot more. Now, in regards to units, that, that's where it works a little differently. Okay, units, I think A5 is a great place to stop for now. And the reason why Hunters, I think, is a great place to stop because you are required a lot of, uh, a lot of, you know nine not a lot but i mean like right now right now it's just one time but you are going to be required a nine man team obviously for um guild boss content right so you don't want to have an a10 like you could push your dps to a10 and it, it would make and it would make sense it would probably make your life a lot easier to beat content but the thing with hunters especially with hunters who you're going to use for like baron mode or whatever the case may be oh shit, did i just die oh that's not good um you're gonna you're gonna want to have them at least you know leveled up to some extent and you're gonna want some variety because the thing with hunters and with um, different modes is there's they're putting so much more emphasis on elements, right? SJW has so many different ways to 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 tackle elements, whether it's from skills, whether it's from weapons, or you know, um, I'm assuming eventually cores are gonna play a part of that as well too. Uh, with hunters though, they they have one element, and that's it. So with hunters, for me personally, I think I would stop at A5 and kind of and kind of push your other hunters after that to A5, especially your main DPS. So Mirei, Alicia, Cha, Gunhi. You know, those are the main four. And then I would push my support after that alongside with them. So so the main support is going to be Mei Lin, Min, uh, Li Bora, and... I mean, I'd even put Hansi Mi in there. She's not as good as the other ones, but we have Gina coming soon. So well, maybe Gina might be the newest, best thing out there. Okay, so for free-to-play players, I think for weapons, going to A10, I think is fine. But quite honestly, for hunters, I'd stop at A5. Yeah, I, w I would really stop. And, and I mean, another good reason for stopping is, of course, the, the whole concept of power creep coming out every two weeks. It's it's just hard, right? It's hard to imagine putting in so much effort as a free-to-play player and using all your resources on a hunter that can easily be replaced the following week. It's it's just, I don't know, it just it, it kind of hits me the wrong way. Um, and I, I'm not a big fan of, of that whole concept. So it's... Um, yeah, I, I would I would really, really, really reconsider, guys, if you plan to A10 a Hunter as a free-to-play player. I, again, I will put the, the top three DPS in there for now, but again, those top three DPS are going to be temporary, right? Even, even honestly with Charlotte, like, a lot of people were like, Charlotte's going to, is power creep. She's really not. I think Charlotte was just something that was required for for Dark, because let's be real, like, so Dark never really had a real DPS. I don't care what anybody says, SM Beck was not a real DPS. He was just recently buffed, and even then, his, his buff's not even enough. Like, he's close, he's much better now than he was before, but I would not consider him to be uh, Dark's main uh, DPS at the time, and he was, and the fact that he was power crept. I think that'd be a silly thing to say, because I think we all know how underwhelming he was the entire time until his most recent buff which even then in my opinion not even that good to be honest so um he should be a lot better than he is so yeah i think charlotte is a necessary evil that needed to happen now i hate it that the character that we had to have was charlotte that was the the dark unit i i consider dark to be one of the coolest elements in the game uh but it is what it is right i mean at the end of the day i can't can't dwell on on the fact that there's little children in the game now we've already talked about this to death and we're not going to keep bringing it up but yeah, I think at this point, guys, um, in my opinion, oh shit, in my opinion, um, we've you know we've gone through we've gone through the whole list of things you should do. Now let's just see if we can beat this, guys. Let me, let me focus on here, guys. Oh boy. So odd little thing happened yesterday. I uh, I got to this phase with with um, with this team, and I was like, you know what? Next, I'm gonna bring Maylin in here, and I try to bring Maylin in here. You know what happened? Yeah, I didn't get a break off. 
Uh, sorry, I didn't. I didn't get the shield off with one, one with one move. Really, really weird. She couldn't remove the shield, so I don't know if they've. I don't know what they've done with the shields. I don't know if they've purposely removed that shield option from this fight as well. And if if this and Forest now kind of play the same thing, it's kind of frustrating to be honest with you, because like that's kind of the reason why you bring Mei Lin to fights outside of her little heal and buff is the fact that she can remove shields. Like, the fact that now they've removed this from her abilities, not from her abilities, but some of these bosses now are, are immune to shield removal, I think that's a little bit BS. They should not be doing that at all. That, like, shield removal is such a big part of this game, and honestly, the hell would you use Dong Su outside of shield removal? You know what I mean? Like, what, sur what, what, sur what is he gonna play? What role is he gonna play in this game if you cannot use a shield removal? So. It's a little annoying that this is what they've decided to do. I don't know if it was a fluke, but it happened twice to me where his shield was not removed any of the times I did it. Very, very frustrating and annoying, to be honest. Uh, and I really hope that they look into that. So devs, if you are going to watch this video for, for any reason, um, I really hope you understand that that's a little bit of a BS move on your part. And I really hope you guys reconsider it because I think, I think that's bullshit. Like, we have these characters for a reason! There it is again. See? Pops up. Now look, no normally what would happen is I would use Mei Lin here, and she would she was able to remove it in the past, so I know it used to work. For a fact it used to work. I know this. It's just so frustrating that it doesn't work anymore. So now I gotta rely on raw DPS just to remove this crap. Okay, we gotta, we gotta break the shield now. Here we go. Too much. Too much shield. Let's see if we can do this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this done. That shield, I mean, right now the shield's going to be easier to remove, obviously, because, like, it's gone. Which is great. I mean, we got a lot of time left, though. I mean, not a lot of time left, but he's got a lot of HP left. Come on, man. This is actually, like... This is the easiest of the encores, but it's also the most annoying one. So here, here's what we need to do. This part right here, this is why I bring this skill, right? Now, let's see if it actually allows me to do it. Because I think, I think, I'm pretty sure, he does this much faster this time around. So don't, yeah, here we go. Look, look, he, he definitely does it faster. Two, one, zero. Here we go. Let's see if it works. It works. Good. Okay, excellent. But then he goes into this stupid-ass phase again. See what I mean? It's so annoying. Oh, I didn't cast it on time. I was trying to do that right there. That's annoying. All right, guys. We might be able to still get this. Let's find out. Oh, shoot. Get out of there. Oh, yeah, I think we got this. We got this, boys. There we go. Boom. Done. So, again, lower CP. Able to finish it up. Uh, there is my... Sorry. Combat power. Jeez. Where people get me in trouble. Let's see what we get here. Oh, that's not bad. That yeah, I say HP though. Oh, never mind. I take it back. That's horrible. I was hoping it was attack percentage, but it's not. Oh, that was not, was not. That was not bad. Actually, that's really good. Wait, was that? Oh wait, this is always HP. <laughs> never mind. This actually is pretty good. I take it back. All right, so we got some pretty good things here. Oh, a nice wind one. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. There we go. All right, guys. Yeah, go in there. Start farming your um, proof of the strong with your free to play players, or f for you free to play players. Go start. Go start farming this. I think it's. I think it's overall. It's just extra resources, a little bit more fun, uh, and something for you to do obviously outside the box. Uh, yeah, and in regards to uh, advancements, that's my take on it. Push your three main weapons to A10. I think that's uh, that's fine. I don't think that'll be a bad move in your case. Uh, in regards to your hunters, I would still say stop at A5 unless you really are adamant about pushing your 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 main. Um, DPS to A10, but then remember your DPS will be replaced at one point in time. Uh, this game is really good about um, kind of keeping them relevant by giving them buffs, but not everyone's going to get that treatment, right? So just keep that in the back of your mind before you decide to do that. All right, guys, this is Payne. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.